Recorded books in RB Digital present Frederick Douglass, The Lion Who Wrote History by Walter Dean Myers Illustrated by Floyd Cooper Read by Corey Allen This is the story of how one man's careful decisions and many accomplishments not only made his own life better, but in many ways changed the history of America. Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey was born a slave in Talbot County, Maryland, in 1818. His grandmother, Betsy Bailey, was also a slave, and she took care of young Frederick. When he was about nine, he was sent to live with slave owner Hugh Auld and his family. He was given chores to do around the house and helped care for the family's children. Soon after he arrived, Frederick saw Sophia Auld, the mistress of the house, teaching her children to read. He wanted to learn, too. Seeing how eager he was, Mrs. Auld started giving him lessons along with her own children. But when Hugh Auld found out that his wife was teaching Frederick to read, he objected. Teaching a slave to read will make him unfit to be a slave, Mr. Auld said. Sophia was not happy, but she understood what her husband meant. The ability to read would expose slaves to ideas and information that would make them unhappy being owned by someone else. Frederick also understood what Mr. Auld was saying. He thought hard about how the slave owner linked reading with slavery. Frederick listened carefully to the Auld children. They spoke clearly and directly, and he knew that it was because they had also read the words they used. He felt that reading could make a difference in how a person lived. As he grew up in the Auld household, Frederick was becoming aware of what it meant to be a slave. Slaves were forced to work for their owners. As punishment, they could be beaten, and they could be sold away from their families. Frederick watched as the Auld children received an education. He listened as they excitedly shared their ideas and dreams with friends. Theirs sounded like a good life, and he wanted the same chance to build a good life for himself. If learning to read would make him unfit to be a slave, then that's what Frederick would do. He made the courageous decision to learn to read. It would be very difficult, because slaves were not allowed to go to school or have books to practice reading. When he could, he borrowed books from the young white friends he sometimes played with. He picked up old newspapers and flyers he found in the street. Sample complete. Ready to continue?